the album My African Heart, and from the lips of uh, Bruce Cassidy, who is my guest in the studio. A little bit of background on Mr. Cassidy, born in Fredericton, New Brunswick, studied trumpet and composition at the Berklee College of Music in Boston. He now teaches improvisation trumpet at Humber College and is known as one of the world's leading performers of the electronic valve instrument, which is what you just heard. And you can hear him on March the 9th at a tribute to Duke Ellington and George Gershwin. It's part of the West End Jazz Series at La Dome. Joining him will be Jessica Lalonde and Ori Dagan, and they will join us after this segment. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Pleasure to meet you, Ted. How did this uh, film writing post in South Africa come along? I said, well, yeah, it's a gig, you know, so musicians yeah. do that. So I went to South Africa for a year's contract and it ended up being 23 years. Well, that's what I was going to say. You went to do one film and yeah. ended up staying for two well, decades. It was actually it was to to be the uh, music director for a studio. At that time, they had studios, and those were during apartheid days. It was pretty, pretty, that was pretty far out. Yeah, yeah. Let's go back a little bit to um, uh, Blood, Sweat, and Tears. The first horn band. Yeah. I had... Uh, uh, I had the late Skip, uh, no, no, I had uh, yeah, the late Skip Prokop in here, along with a couple other guys. From... Oh, so I worked for Skip in Lighthouse. Yeah, but did it, you? Yeah, like for a couple of years. Well, we were talking about. I said, who was it? What was it? What was the order? Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Chicago, or yeah, so, Lighthouse? It yeah, was, so Blood, Sweat, and Tears uh, came first, first, and 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 Lighthouse was uh, second. It was supposed to be Canada's answer to BSNT. Right, and then Chicago was third. Of the horn bands. Uh, yeah. The only difference is Chicago is still going. <laughs> yeah. other band, well, and Lighthouse is still going. BSNT is going, but it's a, a bit of a nostalgia act now. Right. At Humber College. Well, I dig it. You know, I mean, studying, also studying at York, you know, I do, and, uh. What are you studying? I, uh, composition, you know, so doing a master's, then I'm going to go on for a doctorate, you know, like, so I'm sort of, uh, uh, I dig that part of it. Sort of like, got a scientific kind of mind, so, you know, I'm going to do that. The gigging scene is did like... Did you ever play with the Boss Brass? Yes, I did. Yes, did. I played with them for uh, 1971 to 78 when I left to join BSNT. Well, then I would have seen you play because that's when I was in high school and we used to go see them. Oh, yeah. Then we first did the gigs at the Savern and Basin Street and, mm-hmm. uh, you know, and, and uh, we traveled not so much. The band traveled more after in the 80s, I think, than, than we did in those days. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was a fantastic gig. Now, tell me a little bit about this electronic valve instrument because it, it's... It's, it is a trumpet or it isn't a trumpet? It isn't a trumpet. It's sort of a wind synthesizer. You blow in it and... Uh, what, does it got valves, keys? It has keys, yes, but they're electronic keys. They're like elevator switches. You just touch them and they respond. No mm-hmm. more problems with valve oil or sticking <laughs> valves. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. So so it measures your air pressure, so it's, so it's quite responsive. So it has... Uh, if you play louder, it gets more strident. You play softly, it can be quite sweet. And it has vibrato, and and because of that, it sounds quite uh, human. You know, it's quite natural, not like an electronic instrument. Mm-hmm. So it's called a wind controller. And there's a saxophone version of it and a trumpet version. Of it. Now, do you teach that instrument as well at Humber? No, not many people play it. You know, so I don't I don't teach that. I teach trumpet, regular trumpet. Right. You know, and I supervise kids for their final recording projects. You know, like that's because I've done a lot of that stuff. And what are these kids, uh, these kids, are, they're all studying, and that's all part of the jazz program, right? Yeah. What do they hope to do? Do they hope to be jazz musicians playing and form their own jazz band? What, well, what, do hope, they, what do they envision for their future? Hopefully not. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So let's talk about the tribute to Duke Ellington and George Gershwin coming up at the West, it's part of the West End Jazz Series, uh, March 9th. It's a week today at La Dome in Oakville at 1173 North Service Road East. Yeah, that, well, that's it. <laughs> but the two composers are uh, Duke Ellington and George Gershwin. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's the, the idea is uh, Oliver Vedas, who is the uh, you know promoter of that series. Right. He's a crazy guy who thought he could do a jazz series, and he's making it work. You know, So uh, he asked me to put something together, and I thought I wanted to use Ori. So I've heard Ori, and I dug him. And then uh, and I wanted Ori to do um, Nat King Cole. It turns out Ori had already done that. So all of us suggested these two composers. So we put again, you know, those are things that everybody loves, and we love them too. So we just pick the tunes that are comfortable for us, and uh, and we're gonna 
playing for the folks. So you'll you'll play your solo on on, on trumpet on some of these tunes. Yeah, and yeah. And between Jessica and Ori, they'll yeah. take care of the singing. Oh yeah, and Pat LaBarbera is playing, uh, and Pat Collins is playing bass, and uh, Nancy Walker is playing piano, and Ted Warren's playing drums. So we're like a really high test, uh, you know, of. Uh, Great musicians, you know, in the back. This this series has really taken off. Huh? Yeah, I mean it's amazing. Like I mean, I tell Oliver he's crazy to do it, but like he's got the good kind of crazy, I guess. You know, he makes it work. And, yeah. Uh, and uh, we need folks that do that. You know, I got a lot of time for him. Because I saw pictures from the last one that they did, and it was packed. Yeah. And that's got to be a good yeah, he keeps, four or five hundred people. He, right? He's got it together. You know, he's got a, he's got a he's got a way, and everybody loves doing it. You know. It's very cool, a uh, very cool scene. I really dig it. Nice and it gets nicer and nicer venues, you know, and it has it catered, you know, and uh, everybody has a great time. Good stuff. Uh, a real pleasure meeting you. Thank Enjoy you. your show next uh, Saturday, and uh, I'm going to let you, uh, you can hang around if you oh, want. Yeah, well, I, oh, hang well, around, oh, hang yeah. around. We'll bring Jessica and, and Ori in here yeah. in a minute. You always must practice. Do it, do it, do it. Welcome back to the program uh, from the award-winning singer, songwriter, and recording artist Ori Dagan. That is Sting of the Cactus from the CD Nathaniel, a tribute to Nat King Cole. And you darn wrote that song there, that tune, didn't you? I sure did, with Nathan Hiltz. That's a great song. Who's, who, who are we listening to on the strings here in the bass? And, uh, on the bass is Ross McIntyre, and yeah. on the piano, the great Mark Keysweater. All right. Sounds great. Ori will be uh, participating in aforementioned West End Jazz Series one week from this day with a tribute to Duke Ellington and George Gershwin at La Dome in Oakville. You can go to westendjazzseries.something. C-A. C-A. <laughs> Thank you very much. And find out more information. Um, you've, you've, you've performed at uh, Austin's Southwest, South, Southwest by, what is it? South by Southwest. South by Southwest. Which is a huge, huge festival. Oh, my gosh. That was incredible. Yeah, it's incredibly huge. And we were one of the only jazz artists. They had maybe 20 jazz artists. Hmm. Yeah. Gangman style. <laughs> I was there. That's right. <laughs> I was there, right. Well, yeah. <laughs> also performing on uh, next Saturday at the West End Jazz Series uh, is a vocalist who sings jazz and opera, Jessica Lalonde. Hello. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Jazz and opera. Do you get preference? I love both. Yeah. yeah. But, I, I mean, jazz is where my, my heart lies. Yeah. Now, we're going to be playing something that you recorded with the Tiki Collective. Tell me about the Tiki Collective. Oh, it's a wild hodgepodge band of geniuses, crazy people. Um, yeah, it's James B.'s pet uh, is his group. Um, he, he's crazy. Got, yeah. <laughs> in a, in a nice I way. say that with all the love. Yeah, yeah same with me. <laughs> and actually, all the people in it are, are just, I mean, you have great Bob Scott on drums and Eric St. Laurent, usually on guitar, and um, George Kohler on bass, Attila Fiosh. So it's a, just, yeah. And then it's a circulating, like, a giant pool of vocalists that, that are some of the best in the city, I would say. Mm hmm. Yeah, so all of the all of the shows are a little bit different because it depends who who's there and mm -hmm. yeah, and it's all got a tiki vibe. So there's a chance, a good chance that people who uh, uh, now with next Saturday at the West End Jazz Series, what we be doing? What songs will you be performing? Well, we've got Elling <coughs> Ellington and Gershwin. Yeah, mostly. Yeah, so I, I've, I'm I'm Ori's guest, so I'll be doing a couple things and then. We had a hard time picking because there's so many yeah. great tunes by these composers. Huge catalog. Yeah, we have our favorites, and then we always like to kind of think outside the box, maybe learn a new tune or something. And it's always fun to sing together, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a Donnie and Marie thing happening. <laughs> so what? What do you know? What songs you'll be performing? Yeah, we've got a pretty, uh, pretty good idea of what they'll be. Def, you'll definitely hear "I Got Rhythm." Mm -hmm. You can't do a Gershwin tribute without that one. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good point. <laughs> uh, my favorite by Duke is "It Don't Mean a Thing If It Ain't Got That Swing." Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but there's some beautiful ballads too in that book. Um, sophisticated lady. Yeah. What else do you like? I love in a sentimental mood. Oh yeah. And then for Gershwin, someone to watch over me is my favorite of all time. It's never never gets old. Yeah. yeah. Now you, you've done one of these uh, West End things, uh, or you did um, Unforgettable Nat King Cole. That's right. 
That's right. Uh, that it, it's really a beautiful series, West End Jazz. Mm-hmm. Um, the organizer Oliver Vadash does an amazing job of bringing these people in, dinner and show, and uh, it's a really great, great audience, really attentive. Mm-hmm. Now, will you be performing anywhere in the city? You don't have a, a residency. No, I'm everywhere. I have a. I'm celebrating Nat King Cole's centenary uh, with a couple of gigs. The first one is March 16th at the Senator Wine Bar. And that's just with Nathan Hilton. I think we're going to do it acoustically because it's a tiny room. Mm-hmm. And most of the stuff there is acoustic. It's like 24 seats. So reservations are recommended. And uh, just announced just in the works right now on April 20th, I'll be at Hughes Room. Great. Tell me about performing in front of 24 seats. I mean, people talk about being nervous performing in front of 1,500 people. Right. But But I would imagine working in front of 24 people is a lot more daunting than, than 1,500 people because it's like, you swear to God, they're all staring at you. Yeah, and well, they're all I, so close. I, well, personally, I love it. Like, I, I, my favorite part about this business is is performing. It's I love being on stage, and I actually really love the intimacy of a small room because you get to look right at people. It's it's really cool. You see how it makes them feel. It's it's a cool experience. Mm-hmm. Yeah, having a laugh. All right, so we're gonna play something from Jessica. And just you got something uh, hooked up there? Okay, good. From from Jessica, you'll be able to hear Jessica and Ori and uh, Bruce mm-hmm. Cassidy as well as they gather together a week today uh, for the West End Jazz Series tribute to Duke Ellington and George Gershwin at the La Dome, eleven seventy three North Service Road East. Go to westendjazz.ca. Uh, this is from the Tiki Collective featuring Jessica Lalonde. Thank you all for coming in and uh, enjoy your show next week. What a pleasure. Thank there you. There we go. Thank you. Just now. 